What is up, everybody? It's time for some Salt Eye Walkers action. Hope you are ready. So let's see. So we've got uh, Kiora, Birds of Paradise. Yeah, Remand. Yeah, this is pretty good. We're going to keep on this one. I like this. Uh, Birds of Paradise is just such. Uh, you always want Birds of Paradise in your opening hand. Really helps you get some of those Plains of Walkers out pretty cheap. And I like the uh, the double Remand, too. You know, depending on what we're up against. And is, oh, I was, I was getting worried it was Lantern Control, because I know some Lantern players um, <laughs> they always like to skip to their second main phase, so I was like, uh-oh, we got some Lantern Control. <laughs> get into Breeding Pool. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, let's get down Breeding Pool. Yeah, that way we have blue and green. Yeah, we're going to shock this in, get down Birds of Paradise, and then pass the turn. Now we're playing against Tron, so we need to figure out if it's uh, Red Green Tron or uh, Blue Tron. Well, let's, let's go Blue Tron. Well, Ghost Quarter. And he's firing the expedition map off. Urza's Tower, okay. Go ahead and write that down just so we know. Okay. And then, we're, uh, as far as this turn goes, we, unless we draw on a three mana planeswalker, which we don't, uh, let's go ahead and get down the. Oh, we'll get down catacombs and we'll leave up reman. And we'll have double reman to get into some fun shenanigans. Let's go ahead and crack this catacombs. We'll go ahead and get. We have a. We're going two in our hand and then two fetch lands. So let's get into a. Uh, I guess we get into some Liliana action. We need double black. So let's go uh, watery grave right now. Painful truce. Okay, so he played Urza's Tower, which he drew, or which he searched up with the expedition map. He doesn't have a colored source. Um, Trying to figure out if we want to go d uh, have up double remand or just go and stick down Kiora and get that up and running. Yeah, let's go. And, let's go and get down Kiora. So let's go and uh, fire. Get this overgrown tomb in. Banking on him not having his uh, his second Tron piece. If he does, and if he gets a big threat out, then we can just start uh, minusing it too. So I'm going to pump that power plant up. Because getting to, especially when you're not playing a lightning bolt, Kiora is really good. I mean, because their ultimate's five, so, um, and plus, even if he gets, like, a worm coil out, we'll be able to, uh, just basically fog it out with Kiora. Oh, it is Blue Tron. There we go. Okay. So now, we, well, you have to watch out for, uh, Repeal, and then we do need to watch out for Platinum Angel. Thirst for Knowledge. Okay, man. And the game plan right now is we're just going to leave up a double reman to just kind of just get to Kiora's ultimate and close the game that out that way. Hopefully. Keeping our fingers crossed. Yeah, because he can have, I think it's repeal. Repeal, where you can uh, one blue and then X and bounce it back. So he's not online for Tron right now. I'm sure that's what he's digging right now with Thirst for Knowledge. We could painful truce next turn, but uh, I really like double reman, especially him not. Uh, we made the the island for the tournament. and he discard uh, spatial contortion. Okay. And then oath of Nyssa. Okay. Yeah. Let's um. Let's get down misty. Let's get down catacombs, and we can search up a force off that one. Yeah, we can go ahead and uh, fire off Oath of Nyssa, see if we can't get into another Planeswalker. I'll take Snapcaster. Yeah, I don't mind Snapcaster. Put those on the bottom, then let's go and fire up Kiora, let's go on the Ghost Quarter. And then go and pass the turn. So now we have double remand, we're going to be able to plus Kiora next turn, hopefully. And then uh, after that turn, we'll get to her ultimate. Get into a bunch of 9-9 nine -nine Krakens. Let's get into, uh, we'll get into islands. Yeah, and if he gets into a couple more ghost quarters, we're going to be able to, uh, we have Misty in our hands, so we'll be okay with it. 
<laughs> so now he is online with Tron right now. Um, let's see what he gets down. You know, if he goes for Mind Slavery, we can remand it. Okay, so see what he's getting. Platinum Angel. Okay, we're going to remand that one. Getting into Gurik Wildspeaker. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and uh, plus Kiora. Let's go on the Ur Urza's Mine. And let's go ahead and... So if we get down... So we have Reman coming out of the hand. If we Shock and Breeding Pool. Like one, uh, yeah, let's go and get that down. Shock that in. Get that Gurik Wildspeaker. One, two, three, four. Untap two lands. And so tap the breeding pool and the island. Now what we can do is once we, we, so we have remand on that platinum angel, then we can snapcaster platinum angel, and then we can <laughs> uh, get to spots where we can uh, give our creatures trample with those uh, those krakens coming in. Yeah. Okay. So we definitely need to leave up remand. Because our main. Um, our our removal spells in here are Cryptic Command, we can bounce it back to the hand and make him lose that way, and we also have um, Abrupt Decay and Go for the Throat, so Platinum Angel is an artifact, so we're actually, once Platinum Angel is on the battlefield, other than bouncing it back with Cryptic Command, uh, we have no way of dealing with it, so right now we're going to try and stick as many uh, remands as we can on it, and we've got Snapcaster on remand too, and we can even uh, get into a spot to where we can just go ahead and Snapcaster remand the one out of the graveyard. Actually, make one do that, that way we can get some... Uh, Get in some quick uh, two points from uh, Snapcaster. Well, so if he has the one, yeah, let's go and do remand from the hand right now. Oh, get into doubling season. Yes, I'll take that. Okay. So let's let's add up how much mana we got going on. Yeah, we can even go for the throw. Okay, so let's get down the Misty. So we can end tap two with the Gurk Wild Speaker. We're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine with the Wild Speaker. So we can get down doubling season and still have just enough to get down Snapcaster and Remand. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the emblem going right now, because that's going to be the beginning of our end step. And going to crack this Misty right now. We're okay as far as blue mana goes. Let's get into one more blue source in case he uh, gets into another ghost quarter. So we're going to grab a real okay angry. Yeah, we'll grab a water grave, shock that in. Right, just a re-rack on mana. We're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Untap with Wild Speaker. 8, 9. Get done doubling season. Yeah, but if he's got the... He's got five cards in hand. Because we... Well... Yeah, let's get into some doubling season. Yeah, we're going to go for it. And then that way we can plus Gurik on tap two lands and still have Snapcaster remand. And then we'll, with doubling season now, we're going to get into two 9-9 nine -nine Krakens. And then um, next turn we can... Uh, well, we can actually... Might, well, no, we need to plus Gurk because we need to get into some... Uh, yeah, let's go and untap two lands. And then now we do have a Snapcaster Reman to stop that Platinum Angel one more time. So we have two 9-9 Krakens, and then we do have Gurk's ultimate to give them... Um, plus three, which will be just enough to close it out. So if he doesn't have a counter spell on the Snapcaster, then we should be able to get it. So let's go Snapcaster. Yeah, 
And uh, man, it's, I cannot remember the name of the blue counter spell that Tron runs, but I. Okay, so we're going to choose Remand. If he's got it, he's got it. Going Remand right there. Keeping my magic fingers. Nope. Okay, he's got it. Yep. Condescend. That's what it is. Could not remember the name of that. Nope. Yeah, we, we could have not gotten down doubling season, but um, it it's a possibility that he didn't have it, so... Get into Mana Leak. Okay. So let's go ahead and... So you swing it for four in the air. We Painful Truths. Yeah, we're going swinging with the Krakens right now. Drops down to two. So let's go and go for a Painful Truths right now. So we're looking at um, black... Blue, green. Get into another dumpling season. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into Snapcaster. Uh, let's put down Overgrown Tomb into play tapped. Go ahead and plus Gurk right now. Untap two lands. Let's go Island and then one of our Overgrown Tombs. And then now we have um, Snapcaster on Painful Truce next turn because we just need to get into Cryptic Man to bounce it back to his hand. Okay. Yeah, so now we def uh, we need to get into uh, yeah Cryptic Man to bounce it back to his hand. Hopefully get around that. But we do have Dismember coming out, and we do have a Nature's Claim to bring in for this Platinum Angel, so. Treasure Mage. So he's got one, two, yeah, he's got enough on that one. Um, so he has five mana up that he can he can do that with. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, go for a Mana Leak on that one. Alright, so he fires the expedition map off. And he gets into an island off that expedition map. And let's go for a... I'm going to go for a reman right now. So let's go blue. Get some Snapcaster in. Go for Reman so we can get a little extra card draw. Get into Mana Leak. Okay. So now he can swing in for four. If he wants to go after Gurik, he can go after Gurik. Or he can go for us, knock us down to two. Yeah, he's coming in at us for two. Four drops down to two. Painful truce. Okay, so we can fire it off for one. Well, no, we actually we can't. Well, we can. Let's tap for black. This is a voice of Zendikar. Yeah, it's not getting good. We could get in a spot where if we drew into um, Kiora, we could kind of just start plussing her. But, uh, yeah, all the Krakens in the world can't do anything with a uh, Platinum Angel out there, so probably going to have to scoop this one up. Yeah, good game, man. Move on to game two. We're going to cut those, uh, go for the throats right now. So let's go for the throat. Bring a Dismember, Nature's Claim, and bring a Dispel. 
Cut the abrupt decays, bring in the gates. And we're going to bring in a, a, a damnation so that way we can deal with it. And Braska, I like doubling season against this. You know, it's a little clunky, but um, as far as everything else goes, yeah, I kind of like it. Painful Truce, Liliana. <sighs> yeah, let's go. Um, Yeah, I feel uh, we may go ahead and cut the doubling season on this one just to kind of try and grind it out. Yeah, let's go doubling season and go down on. Go on one Gurik Wild Speaker. Yeah, let's do that. On to game two. Yeah, that Platinum Angel, man. It's a bummer. We're going to play first. Okay, as far as opening hand, yeah, I like this. We have Kiora. Uh, we'll need to get into a little bit more action, but hopefully maybe we can mill it out with Ashiok. So we're going to keep on this one. So let's get down Creeping Tar Pit, and then we'll have Mana Leak up next turn to fire that off. But that's one thing with uh, Sultai Walkers, man, is it's... Uh... <laughs> Uh, it takes a little bit to get it all set up and up and running, man. It's uh, it's not a finely tuned, or it's not a quickly tuned machine, man. It's uh, it's pretty fun to play, but uh, it's going to take a little bit of time to get it all up and running. So let's go and get down uh, Pluto Delta, and then we'll go and pass the turn. And then next turn we can get some Ashiok up and running. Talisman of Dominance. Hmm. I'm tempted to go ahead and mana leak that, just because that might be his only blue source, but he might be going for Tron. Nah, we'll go ahead and, we're cool with that. Let's go ahead and crack this Pluto Delta. Let's get into our breeding pool. Not going to pay two on There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and get down to Ashiok and just start milling them out right now. Okay, so let's go... Let's go and go um, Forest, and then get down to Ashiok. So we got uh, Black, we got Blue, Green... And it looks like we whiffed on that one. Yeah, my, well, we did hit Mind Slaver. I'll take that. <laughs> Mind Slaver, Urza's Mind, and Island. And you can definitely... Ooh, he gets Tron online. Um, you can definitely win with an Ashiok, milling your opponent out. And it's going to take a while. <laughs> but it's entirely possible to win the game that way. Gets into Treasure Mage. Let's see what he searches up. And, you know, if he goes like Worm Coil or something like that, we have Kiora to start uh, bouncing or plussing it, kind of fogging it out. Platinum Angel, all right. And once again, you can get down Platinum Angel, so we're probably going to go ahead and shock this in. And uh, well, we can mana leak it. Birds of Paradise. Okay, so let's go ahead and get down. Um, let's go plus, a plus Ashiok right now. See what we meal. Ghost Quarter and Condescend. Okay. And Island. Um, let's go ahead and get down Misty. Let's get down Birds of Paradise. And then we'll have Mana Leak up. Yeah, I like that. And then we do have Mana Leak on his Platinum Angel, but uh, if he has a counter for it, it's going to tap him out, and then we can get down Kior and then plus his Platinum Angel. There's for knowledge. But Ashiok's at 7 right now, so we um, should get to the point to where we can hopefully hit uh, one of his bigger creatures in there. I don't know what he's actually running in there, though. 
Uh, we did, the only thing we do know about is uh, Platinum Angel, and he just searched up for it, so. Gets it on the second power plant. Platinum Angel, yeah, let's go ahead and go for a mana leak on that one, that would kind of time up and get down Kior, and hopefully lock him out until we can get in, draw on an answer for Platinum Angel. Yeah, he has enough mana to do. You're looking at one, two, three, and one off the talisman. Okay. So we got Platinum Angel down. And then once we get down QR, we'll be able to plus it right there. And he's coming in. Yeah, coming in at Ashiok. And right now, that's okay. We'll just keep plusing Ashiok. Because I like having Birds of Paradise up. But we do need to watch out for the clock because we are at 15 minutes. <laughs> it's going to take a minute to get it up and running. Okay, so we're going to crack this Misty, get into a... Uh, let's get into... Well, we need one more black source. We also need one more blue source for... Um, yeah, let's get into Watery Grave. Get into Super Secret QR. So let's go and uh, exile him, see what we get into. Ooh, still whiff on a creature on that one, man. Okay, so let's go and get down QR right now. we got blue, green... We're going plus right now on the Platinum Angel, that way he can't swing in. And let's go and get down Overgroom, put that into play, tapped, and pass the turn. So right now we're just, um, he is at 36 cards in his library, so we're just going to be on the uh, Ashiok mill plan right now. Mill him out right that way. And then we'll have to get in our way, find a way to deal with Platinum Angel. Talisman of Dominance. Every time I see Platinum Angel, I always think about um, some stupid magic story where, like, some little kid went to a magic magic tournament, and the judges were like, "Hey, you have to leave the table." And he's, they just kept pointing at Platinum Angel, and then that's just like all I think about is this little kid just standing up to all these judges, like, "No, no, no, man!" All right, swinging at Kiora. Uh, since we're okay at mana right now, um, I may go ahead and block with the Birds of Paradise because I want to get to the Kiora Ultimate. Yeah, I want to build it up right there. Get into Watery Grave. Okay, so let's go ahead and plus on the Platinum Angel. And then we're going to fire up this Ashiok. Hopefully we'll hit a creature. Hit into Treasure Mage. Not the best, but better than nothing at this point. And let's go and put down Watery Grave into play tapped. And then we can fire up this uh, Creeping Tar Pit to block on the treasure. Treasure Mage if we want to do that. And one, two, three. Yeah, we're going to do that. Well, let's get the Catacombs down. Because we're also getting to the point where we can ultimate Ashiok and minus all the cards from his hand in the graveyard. But I think right now we really just want to just mill him out as quick as we can. Not as quick as we can, but at a very crawling place pace. Okay, so Treasure Mage come in. Let's go and fire up the Creeping Tar Pit. Let's go blue, black, and green. Block right there. Oh, Spatial Contortion. You got it, man. Okay, so that kills our Creeping Tar Pit. We'll just go in and blue just to do it. Okay, so now it's coming in at Kiora. Two, knock her down to four. I mean, knock her down to two. And let's go and crack this uh, Catacombs. And get into a Breeding Pool. Put that into Play Tempt. Dispel. Okay, that's actually not too bad to have in this matchup. So let's go ahead and fire up Kiora on the Platinum Angel. And then fire up Ashiok. Yeah, whiff again on that one. But he is at 28 cards in his library. So it's going to get down Watery Grave right now. 
So now we're in this weird spot where, you know, he's got three cards in hand. Um, <laughs> we can just keep plussing the Platinum Angel, and then he keeps swinging in at Kiora. Well, we he's going to be able to knock it down to one if we can only plus it to one, but then we can replay uh, Kiora from our hand. <sighs> okay, so we have Dispel in our hand. Is this something we want to fight over right now? Draw three cards, discard two cards. Yeah, he hasn't had a lot of action. I, I really don't mind fighting over this one. I'd like to save it for something else, like maybe he's going to bounce something from our hand, but, uh... Yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay, so he does have a counter spell. Oh, mana leak. Yeah, we'll go and pay three on that. So we're going to pay, pay three on that mana leak. He's only got two cards in hand, so if he's got another counter spell, you know, I'm okay with have eating it up on a thirst for knowledge. Because he may not even really get into anything, so he's going to discard two cards unless he discards an artifact. That, I'm okay with that, so now he's down to one card in hand. Let's see what he gets into. Okay, gets into Solemn. Now we can we can minus on Trigger Mage. It gives a little bit a little bit more gas, but uh, we'll be okay. I think we're we're still gonna try and well, he's got one card in hand, so we can minus Ashiok. But no, I like Ashiok milling out right now. So swinging in at Kiora. Painful truce. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's plus Kiora on the Platinum Angel. Let's go and plus Ashiok. He's only got one card in hand, so um, and now we're getting a spot to where we got him done twenty cards in his library. And let's go and get this Painful Truth. Let's fire this one off. Let's go green, black, and then blue. Yeah, so you can you can definitely mill your opponent out with uh, an Ashiok, but uh, <laughs> it's very slow and painful. Condescend, okay. Well, I'll go and pay three on that one. And that's his last spell. So he's going to get into some scry action off that. Um... Let's see what he does if he puts it on the top or the bottom. Puts a card on the bottom, card on top. Okay. Let's get on the catacombs. Get into the negate. That's actually not that bad. And uh, we already activated. Yeah. Okay. We're going past the turn. So now he can swing in for four. Uh, he's probably going to send in two at us, possibly, and then two at uh, Kiora. But then we'll have Kiora back up next turn. Get her down. Let's see. Sundering Titan. <laughs> oh, brutal, man. Okay. Um, well, he's swing in, knock out Kiora. Oh, man. Blue Tron, man. Platinum Angel, man, holding it down. Let's see what lands they choose and see if there's any type of... Um, so it's going to five of each land, so we're looking at uh, Forest... Swamp, Island, and we still have the Catacombs to crack too. Okay, not too bad. But now we're into a spot to where we have to plus, so let's see how he swings in right now. Swing in at Kiora. Gonna kill her right there. Let's go and crack this catacombs right now. Let's get into a. We need a black source. Let's grab a watery grape. Put that in play. Tapped. 
get into herb work. Okay, so that leaves us with five mana. So we can plus Ashiok. I think we did, we still didn't hit anything on that one. Uh, let's go ahead and get down to Kiora right now. Let's go green. Going plus on the Sundering Titan. He'll be able to swing in for eight next turn, which is going to put us down to uh, five. And then we can still minus Ash. Well, yeah, he's probably got this one, but uh, hopefully we can draw into something. We're not going to give up on a Sundering Titan and Platinum Angel. We believe in Kiora and Ashiok. <laughs> okay, so let's see where he swings in at. Kiora, Kiora, and Ashiok. Okay. We're just going to drop Ashiok down to 11, which is not that big of a deal. Damnation. <laughs> I'll take that. He has no cards in hand. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, so let's go and get down. Uh, let's get down Damnation. <laughs> okay. All right, Damnation. Blow up all creatures. He's still going to be able to blow up Sundering Titan, but uh, well, at least we have the Ashiok meal plan going. And then we still have the Ashiok to plus. And right now we're just going to try and mill him out so he doesn't get into another card. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you, Damnation. So nice. So nice of you to show up finally. Turn 10. I'll take that. Alright, so he's going to be able to draw a card. And he can blow up some of our lands too again. Okay, so we're going to plus Ashiok. We could minus to start swinging in, but we have a quicker route of um, milling him out right now. And then we'll still have Negate if he gets into any kind of funny business. Get into Dismember, okay. So we're going to go and fire up Ashiok again. <laughs> Oh, finally get into Worm Cool Engine. Um, well, he's got seven cards in library. And then we do have a uh, Negate. Academy of Ruins. He can get into Platinum Angel, putting on top with Academy of Ruins. Well, now... Hmm. He can keep putting a card on top. But we're going to be able to mill that with Ashiok. Yeah, because that's going to go on top, and then we'll be able to mill it with Ashiox, and then we'll get it on our side. So let's go and exile the top cards of his library. So we hit Platinum Angel on that one. And then right now we're just going to... Uh... Yeah, just leave up Negate right now. Oh, he's got Squelch in there too. Hibernation... That's good to know about. Okay, so let's see what he puts on top. Talisman of Dominance, okay. Who gets into a worm coil engine? Okay, man. Now what we can do is uh, get down Platinum Angel. Yeah, but I think he's going to be able to... Um, that's going to take a minute. Okay, let's, let's get down Misty. Uh, let's get down Platinum Angel. Where's Platinum Angel? Uh, seven. And that'll put us down ten. He can swing it for six. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get down Platinum Angel. We're not going to be able to lose the game. Um, oh, crap. We're, we're going to run out of time on this one. Um, let's go ahead and... We can get down Nyssa. Let's get into a green-black source.
Well, if it gets into like any type of um Well, if we get down the plant tokens. Yeah, let's go and get in that way we can start trying to block on the worm coil and start swinging in with the uh, Okay, so now we can just start chomping on plant tokens. <laughs> but he's going to be able to put a card on top of it with, uh, with Academy Ruins after we activate Ash Ashiok. Put Sanctum on top. I don't know why, I always call him Sanctum, I have no clue why. Talisman of Dominance, okay. Coming in at Nissa, we're going to jump block with the plant token. Get into Cryptic Command. Okay, so let's put another plant token out. We're going to mill them out. Okay, then we're going to swing in. With the Platinum Angel. And then we still have Negate to counter whatever he's got going on. Okay. <laughs> this is it's turn 14. This is officially magic junk time right now. Expedition map. Uh, yeah, I'm okay with that. You can get in another land. But he's got no cards in his library. All right, so he scoops it up. All right, all right, on to game three. <laughs> Woo, okay, uh, do we want to change anything? Uh, no, 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 no. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to go for, bring in a Thought Seize. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and bring in a Thought Seize, just kind of jack with them just a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and we'll cut the Wild Speaker for a Thought Seize. And let's go down on one Remand. I like Snapcaster. Yeah, we're going to do that. No. Well, yeah, we'll go down on one man. Okay, on to game three. <laughs> man, talk about a uh, beautiful top deck in that damnation. That really uh, turned the tide for us. All right, now uh, we we have seven minutes to get some Planeswalker Ultimate, so guys, uh, bear with me. Uh, hopefully we don't go to time, but I'm going to try my best. I'm going to be real speedy with this, so if my commentary is a little sloppy, uh, I do apologize. So <laughs> just trying to keep up with the flow, man. Okay. So as far as our opening, yeah, we're going to have to mulligan this one. I like, um, well, we get into Birds of Paradise. Um, 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 um. <sighs> yeah, let's go on mulligan, man. I'm just not wild about that one. Ooh, ugly. Um. Yeah, we don't have a green source. So if we had a green source, I'd go double Birds of Paradise. Yeah, we just need to get ahead on the clock. With him trying to decide if he wants to keep or not, this is really good. Right, we're going to mulligan. Okay, we're going to keep. It's better than nothing. We do get a scry. Put that on the bottom. Don't need another overgrown tomb. Okay. So let's go, we'll shock in a breeding pool, that way we have some, ooh, thought seas. Um, yeah, let's go and fire this thought seas off. Okay, Mind Slaver. Thirst. Thirst, Treasure Mage. And Ghost Quarter. Um, let's go ahead and go for, um, we're going to take out a, he's a little far away from Mind Slaver. Let's go and take out a, um, hmm. Take out a treasure mage. Yeah. And then pass the turn. Next turn we can down Birds of Paradise. Gets down Ghost Quarter. Talisman of Dominance. Ooh, get into Liliana. Okay, so let's get down for us. Let's get down Birds of Paradise. And that way we can get down Liliana next turn and start casting her. Okay, yeah. 
Hopefully we can get a quick, quick Liliana ultimate. That's what we're going for right now. As quick as you can get one. Alright, he's firing off that thirst for knowledge. He gets into one Tron piece. Get into Ashiok. Okay, but we're going to get down now. Liliana around us. Let's go black, and then black, right there. Shock this in. Get down another Birds of Paradise. Plus Liliana. Okay. So we're at six minutes. We do have an Ashiok to get down next turn, too. He gets into another island. So like one, two, three, four, five. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so nervous. I don't want to go to time on this one. If we can just get barely ahead on clock. Let's get into Island. Plus Liliana. Let's go get down Ashiok. Let's go Black. Okay, and we hit no creatures. Let's see what we exiled. Man Elite Condescending Academy Ruins. Okay, good. I don't know how many Academy Ruins uh, Bluetron typically runs, but I do like having it in there. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's been, this has been a good match so far, though, so I'll take this. There's your knowledge. Okay, so he gets rid of that. And he has Mind Slaver in his hand right now. Or maybe he chunked Mind Slaver off that last thirst for knowledge. Yeah, this may be what he did. Let's see, did he make it land for the turn? He played Island. Okay, I like that. He's missing missing real bad on Tron pieces. And yeah, we're finally ahead on clock now. Look at this, F F6 is just fired up, man. Get <laughs> another Bird's Paradise, okay. Tap the Solemn. Smell him out with Ashiok. Okay. Ooh, man, he he got did that squelch, man. I probably would have saved squelch for Liliana right there. That'd have been pretty brutal. Uh, let's go and get down Birds of Paradise and make sure we activated both of them. Yeah. Maybe he's got double squelch in hand. That's why he did that. So, um, hmm. <laughs> so he blew up that. Let's get into our last black source with Swamp. <laughs> get into another Birds of Paradise. What? What's going on, man? <laughs> okay, so we're Liliana. We're looking at Ashiok. Exile the top cards of his library. And right now we're just going to go ahead and leave uh, Bird's Paradise in our hand. Uh, just to represent some type of counter magic. Alright, since we saw that Squelch and he fired it off on that Ashiok, I'm a little concerned about that. Uh, maybe he's got another Squelch. But, um... Hmm. At least going to go for the Liliana, Liliana Ultimate next turn. Because we've got to start building up some... If he's got Squelch, he's got it, man. I think we only saw like two squelches, so he'd have to have two in his hand. He didn't have it in his opening hand. He's online for Tron now. Okay. <laughs> let's go, uh, let's go to minus... Okay, maybe he's got squelch. If he doesn't... Oh, Alright, there we go. Let's just fire up Ashiok. <laughs> okay, now we do have Snapcaster. Um... To get into a, uh, we can get into some thought seeds. Yeah, let's go Snapcaster thought seeds. See what he's got cooking in the kitchen. Okay, condescend. Yeah, we'll go ahead and pay for that. Oh my gosh, fighting tooth and nail for this one. We're at the five minute mark. Yes, we're going to pay three. Maybe he's got another counter spell. But I, I really don't mind jamming this uh, Thought Siege right now. Oh, 
Okay, yeah. So we, it looks like we got a counter. So he tapped for that blue right there, but we're still going to go and fire it off. Dispel. Or is this tower? Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, did he get into Platinum? Worm Cooly Engine? Okay, that does kind of complicate it. Gets into worm coil. Okay. Get into oath of Nissa. So let's go and fire this oath off right now. Overgrown tomb. Oh man. Okay, put that on the play. And right now, um, you know, he's gonna gain life, but uh, I'm just gonna build up this uh, this army right now. So we'll get down Watery Grave. Yeah, and then I'm gonna just, uh, we're just gonna start on building up our uh, zombie army right now. Oh man, he gets into Platinum Angel. <laughs> Bomber man. <laughs> All right, so now we need to draw hot. We're swinging it for two. It's coming in at us. We'll go and chump block with one of uh just chump block on a snapcaster right there. <laughs> Dang it, man, he top decked the uh the platinum angel. Yeah, we could have swung in, but uh, I wanna get as many zombies as we can. Get into catacombs, okay. We're gonna put the catacombs down. And then we'll go and get down Birds of Paradise. I paid green. Let's go. What's going on? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is not the time to freeze up magic. Come on. Oh, wait, there we go. All right, so now we have um <laughs> Yeah, let's get into a few more zombies because we can block on the the worm coil, kill that, stop the life link. And then we'll have enough blockers for the platinum angel. And we'll have, we'll have four turns to draw into some type of answer for the Platinum Angel. Okay. Let's go block on that. So he's going to get in some tokens off that. He's going to gain some life. He's at 21. Okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, okay, okay. So now we're going to have to deploy all of our, uh, our Birds of Paradise back out. Okay. Fire up Ashiok. Let's get into uh, Birds of Paradise. All right, he's just eating up time right now. <sighs> okay, we can block in the air. It's going to crack this right now. Oh my gosh, we're about to run out of time. Let's shark this breeding pool in. Let's get into Oath of Nyssa. Liliana, we don't need another Liliana. <laughs> Any order. Okay. And... Um, So we'll have three. Yeah. Because we do need to get his life total down. We're at two minutes. <laughs> it's got to send down 25. And then, yeah, that's all we needed to do. Okay. <laughs> got those zombies coming in hot, man. Okay. And then we'll just go ahead and get get that off so he can draw his card. Okay. He's not swinging with the angel right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're at two minute the two minute mark. <laughs> I 
And then we'll still have the action. Okay. Okay, so he's going to draw a card. <laughs> Gets it another worm coil. Okay, so we're going to try to mill him out right now. Get into Pluto Delta, so we're going to plus Ashiok. Let's get into Birds of Paradise. Come on, come on, come on, let's do this. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. And if he has a squelch, sure, go for it, man. Let's get down Birds of Paradise. Another Birds of Paradise. Okay. And then, yeah, at this point, we're just trying to we're trying to mill them out. Let's go. We're gonna do this. <laughs> we could have swung in right there, but uh, man, we're running tight on clock right now. <laughs> just look at this, the stupid platinum angel, man. Get out of here, platinum angel. Okay. So we're blocking right there. <laughs> oh my gosh, if Nature's Claim would be beautiful right now. Then we could just swing in with Liliana's entire horde. Just <laughs> come running in. Oh man, yes, Nature's Claim. I'm calling Nature's Claim. I'd love Nature's Claim. Okay. Ashiok gets bounced back to our hand. But we can still cast it next turn and get it up and running. Now we can also get down Liliana minus return a creature card. We can get back into Snapcaster into our hand. So you're going to get some worm tokens off that. Keyword. <sighs> okay. Um, crap. Hey, it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, let's get Ashiok back down. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> the Birds of Paradise have gone off the screen now. And we're just going to F6 right now. F6. <laughs> Another key aura. I was gonna plus Ashiok. And I'm gonna go for QR just in case he gets into one of those. Uh, oh, Magic Online is struggling right now. Okay. Ah, my gosh. 30 seconds. <laughs> 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 Look at all these. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I'm going to close this out right now. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we need to plush Ashiok to finish the milling out. Okay. Okay. Now we just need like a couple more draws. F6ing. Oh my gosh. We're at 10 seconds. Urborg. Pass the turn, F6, F6, <laughs> F6. <laughs> oh my god, what are we getting to? Flute, oh, F6, F6. <laughs> we, can't, we can't even activate anything, I'm hitting F6, come on, let's go. Oh my gosh, we time out. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> we just needed to get into a nature's claim. That's all we had to get into, or just oh my, or dismember. Oh man, I'll take that. That was a lot of zombies we got out there. So, uh, <laughs> guys, if you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.